so did you see that game yesterday though uh kills that was pretty fun where uh triple h uh did the ali up on the other guy it was nuts dude it's nuts why are we talking about wrestling? <laughs> yeah, I was not, dude. I'm just saying. Cesaro did the whole armpit dive, you know, a uh, EPIA yeah. There was no show last night. Yeah, no, it was pay-per-view, pay-per-view. Pay-per-view? It's not a Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so, welcome back, everybody, to episode two of the Rodcast, Name Still in Progress. Uh, I have here with me today uh, Kills115. They already know I'm here, dummy. Got it. And uh, special guests. First guest. For first guest, that's right. Wiki Woo. What up? You guys might not know him. You know, he's very, you know. Who is Ra- Wiki and why is he mod? <laughs> <laughs> some of you might know him as Best Tank EU. Uh, some of them might know him as uh, James. Some of you might not know him at all. And you should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> 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 all right. I am going to leave it to uh, Kills here. Go ahead, bro. Wow. His own podcast, and he doesn't even come prepared with Hey, come on. Come on. I got stuff to do. Come on. Back. Chop, chop. St- <laughs> <laughs> so, Wiki, how are you today? Uh, I'm good. Uh, I just. So, uh... Sorry sorry that we had to put you on the podcast. I know you're like busy schedule and stuff like that. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, you know, uh, just just switched my internet over to my parents, and I don't think it works very well. Um, everything's just kind of stopped downloading and whatever. Um, but hopefully, I've got enough enough internet that you you guys can hear me. We'll, and we'll be halfway through the podcast asking questions like, "Where's Wiki? <laughs> 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 what happened to Wiki? Oh yeah, parents' internet." Sorry, yeah. yesterday, yesterday we were playing fucking Valorant and uh, my internet just dropped. I don't know why. I was like, who the fuck's on the internet? What to my sister? You download something? No. You download something? No. What's my mom? What are you downloading? Oh, I'm downloading WhatsApp, my phone. <laughs> WhatsApp dropped my whole internet down. Wow. Yo, nuts. So just make sure, because Piggy, Piggy's been taking the pace of me the whole time. Just make sure your parents don't start downloading fucking WhatsApp, because apparently that's a killer. <laughs> That's a killer, apparently. No, the thing is, like, the which one is the more scarier? But is the what the fact that WhatsApp like blew your internet, or the fact that your mother is downloading WhatsApp? <laughs> Both equally <laughs> scary, right? Both equally <laughs> scary. Dude. But we, uh, Wiki, we were talking about this last week in the podcast, but uh, about how you and Rod first met. You know the old love story and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. And I had said to Rod, "Oh, hey." I'm going to get Wiki as the first guest. And, you know, you'd think, you know, Rod would be jumping for joy. But the first thing he said to me was, I don't know. You know, he's got a busy schedule, stuff like that. I don't I think just... he'll be on here. I don't think he'll be on here. <laughs> Dude, Ladies and I, gentlemen, I all, I did, all I did was send one message. And Wiki was like, yeah, I can do it. Okay, <laughs> Yo, I, I don't do know it. his schedule. I don't want to bother the guy. I mean, he's a father of two soon. And it's like crazy. Yeah, well. Um... You know, always got time for friends, bro. Like we've we've known each other for a fucking long time now. You know, what, always happy to help. You should you should know this by now, Rod. Like I know, OG right. but you know me. Bro. Like you OG know me. Support. OG, bro. OG. Rod, Rod. Yeah, but you know me. <laughs> yeah, but like you know me then. Huh? <laughs> now, Rod had spoke about it last week. Well, look we'll at your point of view. It's like the first time like you actually met Rod. Yeah. Like, how bad of a day was that? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was really good actually. Um I think I'd I'd very recently just started playing Overwatch. Um Overwatch was was pretty new at this point, so that goes to show how long ago it was. Um and I I did my apprenticeship with a guy named Curtis. Um and he his his brother was friends with Jess who was friends with Mav and Rod. Um, so so when we'd, we'd sort of, me and Curtis had spoken at work and kind of gone, oh, yeah, you know, I think you'd like this game Overwatch. And I was like, ah, oh, you know, I'll give it a go. Um, it was from that day forward he hated them. Yeah, <laughs> from that day forward, the, they got me into the worst game of my life. But we'll, we'll not go into Overwatch. <laughs> um, you know, and then... 
basically everybody else was too cool yeah. and had had other lives and wanted to go outside and do things and all me and Rod wanted to do was game. So the logical, you know, the logical step was that me and him just ended up started gaming together cuz but... he was online a lot and <laughs> and whenever I was online and wanted to play, he he was there and he's like, "Yeah, man, yeah. like let, let's go, let's go." But there was um, one deciding factor though. What was that? What do you mean, bro? One deciding He's factor that we shook hands yeah. and we became allies. I think, I think I think what Rod's referring to is he spoke about it last week and I had down in my notes here to ask about was a, a, a Shrek song. Yep. From... Yeah. <laughs> far, far away idol, bro. There's, yeah, two told kinds you of, there's, there's two kinds of people in this world. People who have seen the Shrek 2 special Far, yep. Far Away Idol and I complete fucking reprobates. <laughs> um, and I think we... Um, I think what it was is um, he went, that's what I like about you. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> when you're home, it's a And he was like, oh, oh my God, you We were both like, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> I was listening like pretty girls. Like, oh my God, oh my God, you know what that was. <laughs> so it was the Shrek and Fiona song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. <laughs> Rob wasn't sure. That I was wasn't sure at that time, yeah. Literally woke up. <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, it was, yeah, it was wild. It was, Shrek and, it was a Shrek and Fiona song. Um... Yeah, and you know, he was healer, I was tank. It's like a match made in heaven. I mean... <laughs> I think at the time I really. was Mercy or some shit. I was like, just trying, Anna. Oh, you were Mercy main? Yeah, back yeah. then she had mass res. It was, she was broken as shit. Oh, that's is that yeah. when she had the fucking... Mass the, res. Yeah. Oh, was res. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't play Overwatch at that point. Yeah, like I say, we've been playing for a while. I think it was season three when I started season... Overwatch boomers. Yeah, literally. <laughs> Yeah, I look at it now and it's like season twenty one. I'm like, oh my god, I quit Overwatch. In Literally. Season 10. <laughs> and I remember we did because I made so many jokes. Season ten. That was when Brigitte <laughs> like fucked everything. Yeah. Literally just like CC for days. Uh, you know, it like... changed it's I don't know, dude. It's not fun. No. Tanks became basically pointless because what the fuck's the point when you can just be stunned, bopped, punched, everything. <laughs> yeah. like, uh... <laughs> If you've got a fucking like a Brigitte and McCree and a fucking hog on the enemy team and you're a tank, you're getting everything. You're getting the fucking shield to the back, you're getting the stun to the face, and he's gonna fucking hook you and kill you. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Um But through all of that, through all of that, I kept playing my boy Reinhardt. You know? Sure. Um I kept playing Ar Arissa and Reinhardt. Kept playing him, kept playing him, kept playing him, kept playing, you know, persisting, really, really trying to continue to enjoy the game. And I just couldn't do it. Um, you know, like even now I, I, I jump on for a game or two when Rod invites me and it just just rises some kind of primal anger in me. Um it's just like, what have they done to my boy? And, like, we actually had a conversation about this, bro. It must be us. And then after a while, we just noticed it's not us. <laughs> no, it's not. It's the Literally. Game. Like, we actually did. Exper we experimented. We were chill. I think we were playing, just finished, like, a chill game of seven days to die or some shit like that. Let's do yeah. a couple games, bro. Let's go see if I can, we can get our ranks up. And, like, we like, like yeah, two, two, three games. And we were literally screaming at each other. I was like, whoa, yeah. hold on. Whoa, hold up. Let's stop what, what's yeah. happening. Like, we were literally yeah. fighting with each other. That's, like, the game changes you, man. No, it, it, when you play Overwatch, and for the people who haven't played Overwatch, it's not a good time. It really, even, I'm, I'm still an Overwatch player, still, you know, doing competitive and stuff like that, but it fucking changes you, man. Like, it's weird. Honestly, the best, the best experience me and Rod have ever had when playing Overwatch is when he came over here and we went in we went into Manchester and at the game store in Manchester they have a bunch of PCs set up upstairs. Yeah, yeah. Um and they have like basically fresh accounts on oh, everything. Yeah. Is that so is we, that like the one that was in Bristol that we had gone to yes. the basically, yeah. 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 yeah, we we went to the Manchester one here and we we went upstairs and both both the accounts that we got sat on uh were in bronze. So we we had a couple of warm up games and you know the the account le levels were like you know 50 if you see what I mean um so we could play competitive but obviously our personal accounts are plus 500 plus um so there was no there was no MMR on these accounts basically they they had no idea where they where they lived what they needed to do and 
playing <laughs> <laughs> you know being two fairly decently ranked players playing down in bronze is so much fun it was so could fun, you imagine right? could you imagine i get pissed off when i'm playing with fucking you know golds and plats just because because we're all on the same level could you imagine the two of you being like plats and diamonds in a fucking bronze imagine the amount of people you pissed off that day oh yeah just like we played we played reinhardt and anna he crammed his biotic rifle firmly up my asshole (laughs) and we just steamrolled everything at one point the rest of our team we were on route 66 coming around the corner by the the gas filling station and everyone else was dead on our team and the whole other team was alive, and we soloed them completely, just murdered them all. That's crazy. Like, um, like it was so easy to stop their ults with sleeps and stuff like that. Like, yeah. It almost felt like they were a controller. Like their movement was so slow. I'm like, there's no way someone can get stuck in bronze. Nah, you make play controller players again, Rod? No. <laughs> I have you know, I came from a controller. Nope. Oh, okay. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it was fun though. I agree. Yeah, it was it was really fun, and we we got those accounts from bronze to like high gold in the four hours that we were there. So four hours. Yeah, it, you know you can climb if you're genuinely if you're a good player, you can climb out of bronze. If yeah. you're not supposed to be in bronze, you can climb out of it. All these people talking about, you know, oh, I'm stuck in bronze. I can't get out of silver. Whatever you. If if you if you start playing from the beginning, then you um your your rank will reflect the player that you are at the beginning. When I first started, I was a bronze player when I first started playing comp really? because yeah, I I um I played with two people who um one of them was plat and one of them was gold and I was silver and. They were, they were like, I was like, oh, oh damn, I'm, I'm going to be the rubbish one, if you see what I mean. Mm. And they were so bad. <sighs> by, the end, by the end of playing this, I was in bronze. Um, the, by the end of playing this, this, this streak of games with them, I dropped down to bronze. And I was like, well, fuck that. I'm never playing with them again. Um, and I got myself from, like, probably a thousand SR up to high silver. And then I started playing with Rod, and when and then me and Rod got me to one game from Platt, one win from Platt. So you know if you you, you can escape bronze, you you're never stuck there. If you're a good enough player, you you're gonna get out of it. If you see what I mean. Yeah. Um. And at the beginning, Overwatch was hella fun. That's why we've got hundreds and hundreds of hours in it. <laughs> we we played it a lot, you know. And then they just. I don't know, in this constant attempt to keep it balanced and everything, they just ended up just fucking up the whole thing, really. It's yeah, a completely like, different game now. But the next update that's coming out, uh, mm-hmm. I'm a Moira main, and I'm not exactly... It's not a big change, but I'm not exactly happy with it. Yeah. Um, they've like changed like the radius of like how far away play, uh, players have to be before the orb stops working. And I'm like, why? That was never an issue. I've never heard anyone complain about that. Now, you'll get the people who say... Moira has no skill. Moira, you don't need skill for Moira. I don't give a shit. I fucking wrecked your ass. Get over it, kid. Uh, yeah. But there was no there was no change that needed to be made there. Yeah. Even, I think, uh, Anna, I think her stun uh, is even less now. I'm the pretty sure the sleep feeling? Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. And I might be wrong. I can't remember the exact... Like, no, I mean, it, it's a six-second sleep. It's a long time. So I, I, but I, do if... know, I do know in, like, experimental... Uh, thing that they have now, they were looking into like, oh well, maybe what if her sleep didn't work on Bob or all these alts? So whether oh, that uh, that's... ends up coming in yeah. one day, but that's the same thing we had with Wiki. Like they didn't pay attention to the tanks at all. Like they brought out all these new fresh heroes. They had all these crowd control, and they just forgot about tanks. Reinhardt was vanilla since day one. They didn't touch him in forever. Yeah, that the fact that Am you can I... look behind you with your shield was the only update he got in like years. Mm. The 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 thing is, Overwatch used to reply rely on play and counterplay. Um, you know, like McCree could stun a Reinhardt by throwing his flashbang over the shield. A good Reinhardt would then know this was coming and tilt the shield up. 
a better McCree would then wait for that and, and then throw down. it at the ground. Yeah. You know, and then an even better Reinhardt would, would faint going up and then go back down to catch that, if you see what I mean. You know, that was yeah, all... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was all this counterplay and whatever. And then they introduced Brigitte and she just walks up, presses one button and bam, he's stunned. It's fucking yeah. gone. Yeah, it's like, well, well, where's the counterplay there? The, it's It just became a game of hard counters that if you didn't have this hero, you lost. Or this hero consistently lost against this hero, you know? That's, that's um, one thing I will say that they're doing very much wrong. Like Things that like don't need to be fixed they're fixing them and things that do need to be fixed. They just go, eh, you know, maybe it's not as bad as they think. Like, hmm. I, uh, I was saying this to Rod the other day. One of the things they had for comp uh, that I really, I, even Simon, I truly fucking loved it was the hero pool. So every week, one tank, well, it, it, it was supposed to be this weekend, one tank, two DPS, and the support get banned for a week. Uh, from weeks on, they started doing like, no tanks, four DPS, one healer. They just did whatever the fuck they wanted. Uh, but that was literally, it was the best thing because if a Brigitte gets banned, then it really was all about thinking with like the McCree, like you said, and stuff like that. It was just when you take it, when even when they took out like Farah, Mercy, uh, Symmetra, stuff like that, that just kind of, you know, I, personally, they annoy me. The game was just so much more fun. I'll never forget the week that Farah and Symmetra were banned. I'm playing on fucking, uh, I think it's Volskaya, Volskaya Industries, playing yeah. on that where there's no sim TP and everyone has to, you know, everyone, it's a fight. Mm. If the team that gets the point is the team that fucking earned it. Um, was just amazing. It was so much fun that week. And then the next week they come back and it's like, oh, here we go again. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's the thing, isn't it? It's like, you know, it used to be, who who won out of the the Reinhardt and McCree matchup, for example, was the most skilled player. That's who won that matchup. Whereas whereas now it's just like who wins out of a Reinhardt and a Brigitte? A Brigitte doesn't matter yeah. if the if the Reinhardt is diamond and the Brigitte is silver. The Brigitte wins, mm. you know, because th- there's nothing you can do about it. Um, and that's. That's what started ruining it for me, to be honest. Just the the hard counter picks and and just things like that. That it um it just got rid of skill basically. Yeah. Um, like obviously your skill. You, it's your skill still there, but it's not you know. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. It's not like what it once used to be. No, and there's no like really satisfying, you know, outplays anymore. If you see what I mean. Um, yeah. yeah. It just, it's, you know, the, the, the joy of Overwatch was the team, you yeah. know, like, um, when, know. when Rod know. would save me or I turn like, you know, Rod would be like, oh crap, someone's on me. And I turn around and solo shatter and charge the shit out of him. <clears throat> oh um, like, yeah. don't touch my healer. Um, or Come like, on, baby. Yeah. you know, I, I'd, I'd get hit by a, a Rhine charge and, I'm like, oh man, I'm dead, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yes, Rod. Yeah, that was like, like I, I, honestly. I agree. That those feelings of being saved by oh, your yeah. friends, it's the best, bro. I like think, you're like, I'm dead, and then it's like, no, you're not. <laughs> I, think, I, think I had that the other day. Um, I can't remember what map we were playing on. I think it was Watchpoint, and. I don't know if it was Max Simon or random, but he was it was a Doomfist and he was dead. Like he was he was gone. But being the Moyer player that I am, I was like, no, <laughs> jumped in through the orb, healed him, he killed off their Ryan, he killed off their DPS, and I was just like, I did a good thing today. <laughs> <laughs> you done good, Jim. Done even good. even like the mic, he's like, How am I not dead? <laughs> even like even like when Simon and Max, they're like, How am I not dead? I'm just like because I'm a great healer. Yeah, <laughs> it's the best. It's the best. <laughs> we're getting those yeah. feelings are just so much fun. Yeah, but we've well, just been talking 20 minutes of Overwatch alone. 
Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right? We have 20 minutes of a viewer watching right no, now. No, I know, but like... Do you know who that viewer is? Simon's been listening this whole fucking time. Right? That's... <laughs> yeah, that's true. Overwatch. <laughs> but no, but that, that's just... That goes to show you how much me and Wiki, like, love the game. We put, yeah. like, basically... We invested a lot of time into it. That's, that's why I have one question for both of you. So, we don't know when it's coming out at all, but would you play or try Overwatch 2? The multiplayer is somewhat going to be the same, but not really. But the the whole campaign thing now, would you play it? Mm. I'm, uh, I might I, do it for the PVE, to be honest, for the story itself, not for the the multiplayer. I don't know. I don't know. I'd I'd play it because I'd give. I'd, genuinely, I'd give anything to have the original Overwatch back. Like I just, I I wish they'd like maybe after Moira. Just, just give us that version, you know. Yeah. After they, after they put Moira in the game, stop it, and give us like Overwatch Classic, you know. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. And and like you know that if could be a thing. Do you know yeah things that, things that are working like uh, we just got done with a competitive uh, solo. Uh, it's not called it's, it's called solo queue or something like that where it was classic Overwatch where there was no role queue and because that worked and it was so popular. Uh, in July, it's going to it's going to become a full competitive game mode in itself. Like they're because it worked so well and people loved it, uh, they're bringing that in. So if they did that, like a classic Overwatch thing, and people genuinely would love it, you know, it would become a thing. I I don't know. Maybe if they you know they release a whole new set of characters or characters that, that hadn't been messed with so much for for overwatch 2 um and it was you know like because when overwatch first came out it was good i really enjoyed it and but unfortunately they set themselves this um impossible task of a new hero every three months and you know they're still tweet you know they're still tweaking the 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 previous hero they put in by the time they put another hero in and it just it 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 messes up the game. And obviously, there's only a certain amount of abilities and and skills and stuff that that work in that kind of game. And the community is pushing for a new hero, new hero, new hero, new hero. Yeah. And they're just getting more and more outlandish. You know, like mm. Echo. if oh yeah. <laughs> If if you look at if you look at the original roster of heroes, like you know, McCree has a gun and a flashbang. Okay, yeah, can and he can roll. That kind of makes sense. Uh, Reinhardt, big swingy axe guy. You know, um, Mercy has a staff that heals people. They weren't they weren't too you know outlandish. Cool, yeah. And now now there's heroes that can that can copy each other that. Even though they're about four and a half feet tall, Brigitte, um, <laughs> can stop a seven foot tall behemoth charging with rockets on his back yeah. by just like dinking him, you know? <laughs> um, and it just. It, it's the, really over the, the top. Like, it's yeah, unnecessary. The, the pressure that they put on themselves to release a new hero all the time before the, they, they'd really analyzed the previous hero kind of like kind we, of messed with it and they dug their own grave really we just had echo be released and echo i will hands down say is the biggest pain in the ass character you know <laughs> just being able to copy someone else's old get it literally like that all she's got to do is just fucking look at you her old is just like duh, 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 all the way up if echo is like that i'm scared because i'm pretty sure the next character is going to be the character coming out with overwatch 2 which I hope, I hope is that fucking character because I don't want any more characters. Mm. If Echo is like that, I'm scared to know what this next character is going to be like. I know yeah. nothing about her. I have no idea who she is, but I'm hoping to God because I was hoping Echo was a healer. I hope he gets another fucking support. Like Baptiste was a decent support we just got, but you know, he, we could do without him. I feel. Yeah, and you know, <laughs> they just seem to have more and more and more abilities. You know, they they've got this, they've got that, they got passives, they got everything. You know, when the first first roster of heroes came out, it was like, you know, they were all the same. 
and they started this is how bad it it got you know they they started changing tracer and tracer is the 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 benchmark you know like Mm. they they balanced everything off of tracer um and then they started messing with her and it's like um no (laughs) that's you know tracer has got a ridiculously high skill ceiling you know like a bad tracer easy as hell you know a good tracer the most annoying person on the other team like um and just just when they started messing with tracer and stuff and it's like no nah, you can't you can't do that and they they made lucio easier to play and things like that and they just i don't know yeah but yeah this is these are all all conversations that me and rod had back in the day when when we were playing overwatch as a developing game um you know, occasionally me and him will will jump into a game and realize why we hate it so much. Just you know, because we're <laughs> it's, it's fun having Rod do it. Though. It's fun having Rod do it. Yeah. No, it, it's just I like it's like he, a, a, a deep part of you, I, like a deep part of you misses the game because yeah. you remember the good times and then you play it and it's like ah, this is why I stopped. <laughs> yeah, literally, like you. You get your you get your rose tinted glasses on, you know. You're looking at everything through a pink filter, and it looks all nice and lovely. And you're like, "Why did I ever stop playing this game?" You know, me and me and Rod bonded over this game. Like, it's is what brought our friendship together. It holds like quite a special place with me as a game. Um, and then you know you actually play it, and you're like, "Oh right, this is pure garbage." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is what I forgot. So that's not the same. Yeah. No. But that's what? yes. Anyway, so twenty minutes of that's yeah. where me and we'll Rod move met. on from. We'll move on from Overwatch. Please. Sorry, Simon. I understand you're probably crying, but um... <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Let's go to Simon with the weather. Sorry, Simon, I how... didn't even know. Simon, get out of here. Thank you. <laughs> Back right. to you, Jim. <laughs> but, but we'll move on. Uh, so I wasn't around at this time. I, uh, but there was a point that you had went. You traveled over to Rod's. Yes. Uh, place. I did, who actually, yeah. who set that up and how did that get like and what happened because i wasn't around the stream at that time so like people like me piggy and stuff like that, that don't know what happened with you guys hanging out what like what was that uh travel like the the travel was awful yeah. um you know like um we I, I we just kind of you just said you just like messaged me one day hey uh like how free are you this like, i think i was free i it was like in a vacation like month or yeah. i was still in that period where i didn't have any classes i was like in a gap year and he just messaged me one day was like hey uh do you mind if i come over uh this and that for this long i'm like no absolutely not um and like he just came over basically but uh the travel was uh rough yeah like on the way there yeah. It was okay. Um, I I got to London. I drove to London. I parked my car outside my friend's house who lives in London. I went to Victoria bus station. The bus was late, um, and I I I got on the bus and there was probably six other people on a double decker coach. Um, I had a whole table to myself. It was lovely, you know. Um, and the guy, the 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 driver was like, "Oh hey, um, who's who's going to?" Amsterdam changed into Groningen. I was like, that's me. Um and he was like, look, we're late. Um, but I've I've rung ahead to the the other driver who's taking you to Groningen and he'll wait for you. This is like, you know, while we're sat in London, this guy had had rung ahead to like Amsterdam and had already sorted out that the guy would wait for me. But he and he and he turned to me and he looked and he went, But don't worry. We'll get there on time. <laughs> Shout um, out to that driver, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, literally. Um, and he and yeah, we, we got we got there on time. I switched to my bus to Groningen. Um, you know, got there perfectly fine. Everything was great. Um, got off, met Rod. You know, um, the bus back oh, was boy. fucking awful. <laughs> like, I got the bus back to. I don't even think it was Amsterdam. It was somewhere else. I don't remember, but. They got off the bus and there was a carnival going on. Um, and like, I, I was obviously in a 
a, a, a foreign country, didn't understand the language. Uh, there was a lot of people and, you know, I, I, I suffer with anxiety, so that didn't help. Uh, I was hungry. I was lugging a suitcase that I, you know, that I brought over. Um, and I ended up waiting at a bus stop that was literally just like, you know, two pieces of metal to sit on um, <laughs> for like seven hours just sat there waiting for this bus and then when the bus <laughs> finally got here it was it was cramped it was crowded i sat next to the biggest guy you've ever seen in your life <laughs> um there was there was some guy across the aisle who who refused to put his bag in the overhead locker uh he wanted to sit with it on his knee so the person in front of him couldn't lean back and i thought the guy sat next to me was gonna i don't know throw him out the window or eat him um he was like oh just just put your bag up so she can lean back and he's like no i want to keep my bag with me i'm like well, you're a braver man than me mate i'd have been like yes sir <laughs> yes sir <laughs> um, so you know that 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 aspect of it was was not good um but actually being there was great you know um there's lots of there's lots of different things over there like um the food is very different um just just in terms of what you can order you know over here you're sort of limited to kind of kebab indian or um it, the kebab or pizza uh indian or chinese that's sort of limited whereas over there it's like one restaurant does everything from kebabs shawarma lasagnas pizzas you know a Hot wide dog, variety. Burgers. Yeah. You, yeah, you wouldn't you... know that from what Rod actually ordered because normally it's either a pizza, pasta, maybe a bit of garlic bread. Yeah. But what? it was fun, dude. Like, I was actually the first time we met in person. Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. Wait. No, we met in London, no remember? That's right. No, that's right. Because you came to London first with um, Valtteri. Valtteri, that's right. On my When I was doing my minor. He was yeah. just, he, again, very short story. He took a, one look at me. He was like, hey, want to go to London? I was like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> when? This weekend. I'm like, excuse me? And it was like Wednesday at the time. This guy goes, yeah, you know, we'll leave on Friday, say a whole weekend or something like that, and we'll be back here. I think <laughs> like the, the Sunday or like the Monday, we didn't have classes that day or some shit like that. And I, he, I was like, What? That seems to be the tradition with Rod, because that's how the the Bristol trip came along. Was just want to do Bristol, yeah, okay, yeah. It's like eleven, <laughs> it's like at eleven p.m. at night, and I think uh, it was either Rod or Toby mentioned like, want to go to Bristol, uh, yeah, sure. When? Uh, how's two weeks? Uh, uh, okay, let me yeah, it's yeah. 11 it's eleven p.m., but I'll go down and put my flight now. Sure. Yeah, yeah. like you want to do it. It's just it's sometimes like wow, I wish I knew beforehand. It's like a spur of the moment thing. I don't yeah. regret it though. It was, bro, it was weird because I never. I think that was the first time I traveled since being here. And I was literally having classes in the morning. And then, like, around evening, I was having fish and chips at a pub. It was weird. <laughs> like, near where we, uh, uh, we, our hotel or whatever that thing was. It was funny. It was weird. And we literally talked about this, me and uh, my friend Valtteri. We would just sit there and go, wow, isn't this crazy? Like, we literally had classes, like, in the morning. It's, like, afternoon, evening, and we're having fish and chips in England. I'm like, yeah, bro, wild. And then I, I came up and, and met you in London, didn't I? <laughs> That's right. Uh, uh, me, we... and, me and Will. Yeah. Um, you both lived happily we, ever. Yeah. <laughs> we, we walked around quite a bit. We basically just, like, sightsee a bit. A, a bit. Uh... Yeah. That was basically for a while. Oh, we went to this like street of shops. What do you call that? Camden Market. That one. That yeah. was pretty wild. That was pretty crazy. That was pretty like shit ton of people. And uh, I think someone had like the largest hot dog I've ever seen or something like that when we were. Yeah, that was, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, like I'm serious. This hot dog was massive. I was like, how is a human supposed to eat that? Wait, yeah, so where were like, you? Camden Market in London. What's the, I'm I'm a, I'm a foreigner, so what it actually is that? Because that might be what I'm thinking of, but I'm not sure. Uh, so it's it's basically a a, a street market. It's the craziest place oh, ever, yeah, and no, there's there's all sorts of. Um, did we did we go in Rocket Dog? Um, 
no cyber dog even you know the the place where there's the the dancers as you go in and it's all neon lights and rave music yeah and... adult stuff uh, the, yep. Uh, yep, yeah. yep 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 <laughs> yeah i imagine Ron just like i'm gonna i see that pole bro i literally went oh in there a whole new pole. world <laughs> i was like holy crap people have stuff in their mouths or stuff where they shouldn't be and stuff where it should be isn't there i was like okay yeah, and then uh, we went and got we went and got some food, and uh, like <laughs> I think I think most of them just went into a shop and got a slice of pizza, and then they came, <laughs> they came out and I was sat there with a two foot long hot dog. <laughs> Hi guys! <laughs> like everyone was like minuscule shit. Um... <laughs> I think I had as well, but like the, the slice of pizza for you, you like viewers out there, it was pretty big. Like I'm not gonna lie, it was like a big slice chunk of pizza. But we could just had a whole feast on the table. There was literally no other space to put plates on. I just had it on my knee. It was it was wild, bro. And I thought I ate a lot. Week is next level, bro. All, all I picture in my head is just Rod sat beside you, just staring at his hot dog. Just... <laughs> Yo, it, it was honestly like the biggest hot dog I've ever seen, Giggity. Literally. It was yeah, it was just uh, weird. I've never seen like such a big food before. But um So fun, you we, we're going to move on to um I know this is like really weird. We don't normally do the podcast like this. I'm normally more prepared. But I thought somebody <laughs> the best friend would also bring some questions. <laughs> Con you out, Rod. No me. Uh, <laughs> no, I think Sean is in the background somewhere. You know, the actual. Sean is not gonna watch an hour of this shit. I think she left when we were talking fucking an hour, half an hour about Overwatch, bro. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I think most people hey, left. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Probably just the actually, Overwatch people. Did. She actually enjoys Overwatch. I somehow. There's no way, say, dude. She used to say to me for ages, like, oh, I, I'm never playing that shitty game. This moment it was like on sale. I told her to buy it, and she played it. She's like, okay, I'll never tell you again. Oh, she played it. That's cool. Crazy. But we could, you know Rod the most, so you must have some embarrassing like Rod stories to tell, <laughs> if, if any, that come straight to your head. Yeah, I, I know one already. <laughs> <laughs> Since we talked about him being here. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Um, oh, Go ahead. So we were, we we went out when I was over there, <laughs> and. Um, like we were, we're in a an Irish bar because you know there's an Irish bar in everywhere, um, and except in was... Ireland, we just call them bars here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. So we we went out and we were in this this little Irish bar and we were we were chatting, we were playing cards, yada yada yada, and um, there was a live band on, and I I kept singing along to all the songs because I just happened to know them, and Rod was like, dude, you should you know you should go up, you know you know all the words. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Yeah. Um, and I was like, "Oh no, you know." Da, 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 da. Uh, stop! Stop got... right there before you go over. Like the reason that I told him that is because literally they like whoever was up there was singing at the time. I think it was like a karaoke night. Anyone could go up there if you if you wish. And I could hear Wiki mumbling the words word by word. It's like, bro, just get up there. <laughs> so yeah, go. Ahead. So um, I ended up going up, and and the band were like, "Oh, you know what, what?" what do you want to sing? And I was like, oh, we'll, we'll go for Johnny Be Good by Chuck Berry. Um, and they they had a guy sort of waiting in the wings who who they sent up to sing with the people that got up in case they were shit, basically. <laughs> so then so then they could turn his mic up and... Um, lower the other ones, yeah. Lower, lower the, the persons, you know. And some girl had gone up before me, and that's exactly what they did. That's how <laughs> I know that that's what they did. <laughs> um, and, I, and I went up, and I was, you know, I was, I was quite tiddly at this point. I'd had a few drinks. Um, and I just started jamming out. Like, it was like there was no one else there. I was just having a good time, you know. And uh, this guy literally switched off his microphone and went and sat down. Um, so I was there, like, blasting out Johnny Be Good. Um, and at the end of it, like the band, like all nodded to me. The manager of the band came down, shook my hand, was like, "That was really good. That was really good fun." You know, like thanks for thanks for coming up, basically. And I was like, "Ah, oh, you know, I, I've got confidence now. I've I've got a bit of Dutch <laughs> courage, and somebody's complimented me. Let's go to a karaoke bar." Oh, no. So, so we went to this karaoke bar, and, and we sung a couple of times, and a couple of people were like, "Ah, oh, no, you you stay up and sing our song with us," you know. Um, 
and it's some oh. i i get very like um <clears throat> Bilbo Baggins on The Hobbit when I'm drunk. I'm going on an adventure. Oh my god, um, dude! <laughs> I just, I just disappear. Uh, I'm the most annoying person to go out with because I just run off basically. Um, and I went to go and get some cash out, I think, and I met this this girl at a cash machine, and she looked really sad because her, uh, I think it was her friends wanted to go home and she wanted to stay out. So. Um, yeah, basically, I I was like, oh hey, these these Jaeger bombs that we've been drinking are three for a tenner, and there's only two of us, so come back and you can have the third. And she was like, oh great, that sounds that sounds good, you know. And then uh, she was she was Spanish, and Rod decided that she she quite liked her. Uh, he quite liked her. No, sorry. no, you were right the first time. You were right the first time. <laughs> yeah, and uh, she had a nice accent, bro. Yeah, yeah, she was, she was sweet. <clears throat> Um, side note, I just have to mention uh, this guy that I met while I was outside the karaoke bar having a smoke, who was, how tall do you reckon he was, Rod? Six, six four, seven? Six something, bro. He was literally, yeah, you had to break your was, neck to look up. Yeah, he was enormous. And he started calling me Jables, Jack Black. <laughs> um, and we just took to calling him Thor because he was huge and blonde and beautiful just, yeah literally like <laughs> no other word to describe it. it was like hello you perfect specimen um yeah so he was just a fun guy anyway um basically the girl gave rod her number and i don't think did she ever get back to you um we talked for a bit and then it like stopped i don't know if she went back to her country or whatever but yeah. I, I remember she was here for like what I did um, a minor. She probably went back and never talked to me again. Did you ever like, <laughs> did you ever hang out with her again? Let her talk. Hang now? No, we couldn't. Like she was always like doing the you know I got school uh, card. I was like ah I no. see. <laughs> no, but it was scary though. Like in my perspective, like I was at the bar. Like I think I was drinking my last. Or, like I don't know. I I looked away for like a, a minute or whatever, or I was talking to someone. And I was like, oh, okay, the, they finished the song. I look back, Wiki's not there, bro. <laughs> I look everywhere. I even went to the bathroom, saw a guy pee, was like, hey, you see my friend? <laughs> <laughs> you were like, posters, man. Have you seen this man? <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> like, <laughs> and I was like, I don't see him. You know, my, my friend is missing. And, and like, I went up. outside, <laughs> didn't look, like, couldn't see him, bro. I went all throughout that whole street because there's like, all the clubs are next to each other. There's a whole street of it. And I went to, I couldn't find it, bro. I was, I was panicking. I went back into set club. Wasn't there. Came back outside. And that's when uh, I saw him coming with these two ladies that he was talking about. Ross looking at him like, my man. (laughs) (laughs) I was fucking like, it was funny. And then um, the way we ended the night was funny. Like uh, they had to go or something. I was really chat. I was really like, uh. The other, I, I would assume the other, you know, female also, like, thought I like, was pretty good. Um, we were, like, just flirting around the whole night. And then at the end, we, I don't even know when we, we stopped. But Wiki was fucking, like, hammered. He was, like, walking all wobbly. I was also a little tipsy. And I was like, bro, fuck Did even thinking about getting... Uh, what? Did you end up in a bath? Because that's not No, 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 no. That's, that's another trip. Um... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I found this taxi. I was like, uh, yeah, man, uh, can you go to, you know, my address? He was like, yeah, sure. How much? I think I asked how much. Don't remember what he said. Um, no, I don't think I even asked how much. Do you go to this address? Yeah. I was like, wiki. I opened the door. Get the fuck in. Like, he literally <laughs> just dived in there. And uh, I t- honestly, I don't remember. I don't remember. Walking up to my door, opening the door, I don't remember. I just remember waking up the next day with the <laughs> with the you know the shirt on and because we went <laughs> that's funny, right? We went overly dressed at night. But we look good. Uh, we look yeah, good. We're we like good. No, like we were like uh getting ready, like holy shit, dude. I was remembering Wiki had this whole story lined up and it was hard for me to remember most of my, my part. <laughs> it was it was, good. <laughs> it was funny. Uh, yeah, we... It was fun, bro. Literally, it was fun. Like having that time with your, you know, your best friend. It's it feels great. It was nice. And then obviously he he then came over here, which is when 
we we guys we came to Bristol. I met you guys. Yeah. Um, I hate this is, yeah. This is even even at one trip, I have you know, a funny story for both of you. So it had to have been a good trip. No. No. I I said the podcast, guys. I'm out of here. <laughs> no, it's because like uh, I went there for a different reason, kind of, kind of like a meetup. Like a yeah. lot of people was, were going to England to at the around the same time. It was supposed to be a bigger meetup than what it was. Yes, and obviously stuff happened. Not going to mention it, obviously. Uh, stuff happened, and it, it you know it couldn't happen. Like I couldn't meet up with everyone, and uh, it was too difficult. People wanted me to go like to places. I'm like, you guys have to understand. Like, I'm not the driver here, and like. <laughs> That's a long way ago. Like that's a long ways yeah. for me to just shake your hands like, "Hey, nice to meet you." You know what I mean? Still never took a photo. And uh, <laughs> we'll get back to you in a second. And then, uh, literally, bless Wiki's heart, bro. Shout out to Wiki for even thinking of Bristol because Bristol was fucking far from where he was living. What? What was that? Like three to four hours? Yeah, something like that. That was nuts in a car. I, 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 I did my first ever Insta live, which was. Weird. <laughs> I was watching at Darren's house. Um, like, you know, <laughs> the trip to Bristol was nothing compared to the fucking trip to London and then back again. Yeah, like, in I a bet. day. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it was nice meeting you guys at least. Like meeting Martin, meeting Tom. I don't really think Tom is a fan of anyone. I think, I think but meeting Darren time, was cool because yeah. it was like I knew Martin looked at my stuff and he liked it. So like. I'm- Pretty sure that's but Darren the was like a, a new spoke. specimen. Like Darren at the sure. time. Sorry, let me finish. Darren at the time didn't talk a lot in chat. I, he just did, hey guys, and he disappeared into the shadows. You know what I mean? <laughs> and he was like, was... yeah, bro, I love your streams. I'm like, wait, you watch my streams? Yeah, yeah. I'm like, do streams. I'm like, no way. <laughs> like, <it's> like actually <laughs> meeting a fan, like, you know, quote unquote, a fan for the first. I felt really cool. Like, I was like, yeah. holy shit, I'm <laughs> loved. A fan back then, now you realize okay, he's a real pain in the ass. Literally <laughs> the worst guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what were you gonna say, Martin? I was gonna say, I was gonna say that I'm pretty sure that is the, the first time you met and spoke to Darren like, ever. Um That was... is correct. We never like uh, gained well, I don't remember if we even gained before. I don't think so. But uh Maybe Fortnite if I was on. Maybe. And like, like you know, uh, in-game voice. I don't think I've ever like spoken like a lot with him. Like I only, I know he only found uh, your stream because I have on my friends list on Twitch and I because I've never told him about you. But mm. I'm pretty, pretty sure that him and Jack just came in, you know, like, oh Joe Kills on five is a bitch and stuff like that. The usual six years of friendship stuff. Uh-huh. But um yeah, I'm pretty sure that's like the first time full stop that you guys spoke yeah it was wild like he, he was like there's no way rod knows you i'm like bro there's not a lot of you i remember your name like it's not hard because <laughs> it, it wasn't like uh that crazy uh, um, um, do you remember what we'd been and done before we went and met those guys right <laughs> we were like it was wild because it was fucking raining almost every day which was not great uh what what did I need from Primark, eh, Rod? <laughs> Is that what you needed a belt or something? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was that before the pump, though? I oh, know. Yeah, 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 it was. Exactly when we came out, we met. The- yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wick is nuts, dude. I- <laughs> like, his belt literally broke that day, I think. I don't know yeah. what the fuck you did. You like probably like like sc- crouched too f- far or something, <laughs> and then snap! I just saw like a pingo. Pew! I was like, whoa! <laughs> and Wiki just stares at me. My belt broke. I'm like, yeah. I hope that is what it looks like. A screw's loose somewhere. So in one day, you broke a belt and Rod broke his shoe. Yes. <laughs> Rod Rod did not replace his shoes though. <laughs> <laughs> Wiki, Wiki, let me tell you, bro. This guy is like a criminal mastermind, smoothest <laughs> operator on the west. This guy's like, oh, this is nice. Puts it on, you know. Oh, looks at a fucking like a mirror, like like he's showing his ass. Oh, then does this look my ass look big? No, right, bro, bro, it's, it looks good. Cool. Puts his so, shirt above said belt. Okay, you you go on. Sorry. So we we went into Primark and I I picked up this belt that I thought you know yeah this this is good. I 
the, it was a two-story Primark, and there was a. They were just asking for it, really. There was a there was a staircase sort of round the back that we'd walked down. Like, don't get me wrong, I knew what I was doing here. You know, this wasn't a spur of the moment thing. I was going in that shop with a specific agenda. Um, and I'd found the stairs and we walked down them and I checked that there was no cameras around, like, on the staircase. So we, we, we go down the stairs to the bottom floor and I'm like, ah, belts, cool. Yeah, that one looks great. Pull the tags off it, go to go back up the stairs. And as we're going up the stairs, just put the belt on tighten it up yeah shirt over the top right we're going now guys <laughs> and sort of rod, rod and um i think it was toby that we were with him. yeah we, were, we yeah we picked up toby from the station yeah they were they were like wait what i thought you needed a oh toby didn't, toby didn't know that's right toby literally didn't notice <laughs> i was with you toby were, like was looking at other stuff and we went like it was fast like we went in there he took like put that on we were gone that's why Toby was yeah. so confused. Wait, what? I thought you made something. <laughs> well, yeah. Like, no, no, we're good. Let's go. We're good. Let's go. Um, oh yeah, God. so that was fun. And then I didn't know that story. I didn't yeah. know that's that exactly you went the... in a bottle belt. <laughs> that's exactly right before we met you guys. The moment we came out, <laughs> yeah. we were like matching on the street. While you guys are doing that shit, uh, we've already spoken about it, but we're trying to find you guys. I'm like, I'm on the phone to Toby's like, where the hell are you guys? Oh, we're at the Primark. Little do we know, this fucking Primark, by the way, I've been to many Primarks <laughs> in my life. This one has four different entrances. Yeah. We're, at the, yeah. we're, at, the, we're at the entrance. Okay, so are we. Where the hell are you guys? We don't see you. Well, we don't see you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, we, it was... they're on, they're, I'll, I'll play the picture again. They're on one side of the Primark. We're on the opposite fucking side of the Primark. It was, it was big. <laughs> I, that was and new for course, me as well. I've never seen like such a big Primark before. It was, it was like ginormous. Of course, we could have gone back through the Primark, which would have been the sensible idea. <laughs> However, I had just stolen a belt and didn't want to go back in the <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I remember, I remember, I remember texting Toby, like, stay where you guys are. We come around to that entrance. We, we, we you were guys gone. were gone. We were gone. You guys are gone. I'm like, yeah. where the fuck are you guys? Oh, we walked on. <laughs> 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 because my best friend like like you know basically did a crime we could have just stayed and sit there so i was just like all right where are you guys now or outside this pub all right stay fucking there <laughs> nah, it was just e like we were in the open it was easier to find us there but i didn't know that. when we when we were well, like you messaged me it was like there was like was like 70 different entrances i'm like i see this was not the right call <laughs> so we just went in the open <laughs> But um, uh, like the, the one, the one like funny story I have with Wiki is sitting in the first bar, and I can't, did you have like a, it was like a a, 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 sh I was a shirt on like just a blue, uh -huh. it was like a blue shirt or something like that, a blue and flannel. Literally, he he, the people working there, the staff, same. all the male staff had the same shirt. <laughs> Wiki could literally open like that flap that goes to the bar area and literally act like he was working there. I think I think what, like, one of the staff members brought her drinks down and she said, if you wanted to, you could just walk right over there. <laughs> we, we would think no different. We think you're a worker here. That was funny the poor like a worker to say, just for the lows. And then I've always held this against Rob, but my funny story with Rod is the shoe. He breaks oh the God, shoe. Dude. He breaks the shoe and this guy is trying to act so cool, so <laughs> calm, nothing's happened. And <laughs> Like a uh, context for that is we were cr <laughs> we were literally crossing a road. <laughs> we were going to another place for drinks, uh huh, uh, across the river and thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were going to another pub. I think Darren knew it or someone knew it. Uh, and we went over there and like as I was crossing the street, I think I miscalculated how up I needed to put my my feet, and it hit the sidewalk and like. It was like one of those Converse, you know, uh, canvas shoes that has that little white thing in front. And that just went down and my, you know, the, the rest of my foot went up. I was like, oh. And I was so cool. Like, I didn't flinch or anything. Well, my body flinched when I almost fell down. But, like, I, I when I recuperated, I was just looking straight ahead. I, like, glanced down to, like, try and put my, my foot back into the, the thing. And Martin just looks at me, like, and then looks down... What the fuck happened? I was like, fuck, shush, shush, nothing happened. And then Martin's like a fucking alarm. Wee woo, wee woo, Toby! Hey, hey, Wicked, hey, 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 Darren! Look at this idiot! I'm like, great, no need to hide it now. So I like leaned over and fixed it. Jesus For Christ. Context, like, we had like kind of like broken off a bit. Like, I was with 
me, Wiki, and Darren I kind of walked on. Wiki and Darren were chatting, and Toby and, and Rob were in the back. <laughs> I think we ran across the road, and Rod, Rod, Rod being the, like the good person he is, waited for the fucking light. He, <laughs> oh, like, yeah, wait. you guys are fucking criminals, bro. British people, let me tell you. Ever since I've been to London, no one piece that gives a shit about rules. Oh, a red light. Perfect time for crossing. <laughs> Come on, Jimmy. Come on. You can't do that in the <laughs> Netherlands because you'll get hit by a bike. Yeah, bite. literally. It's like... such a... <laughs> Wiki tried, bro. I was like, yeah, good try, bro. <laughs> like, you, will, you won't get hit by a car. You will get hit by a bike. Yeah. That 100%. is what will happen in the Netherlands. It's like two different, like, an extra road to, like, pay attention for. Mm. So, uh, Rod, and, Rod and Toby are, like, waiting for the light to turn green. So, we walked on. And I kind of, I, I, I stopped. I said, I'm going to wait for the other two dummies. I stopped, and I just see Toby has this big smile on his face. And there, What's yeah, up? he knew. He knew first because he was like, "What's Toby wrong?" Because I was kind of limping a little bit, I was like nothing. I was like, "What's?" He's like, like, "No, nothing, nothing's up." It's like, "Are you alright, Toby?" He's like, "Yeah, yeah." yeah. He was like, like, just you know, laugh, trying to hold his laugh. I in. just happened to, <laughs> to look down. Fuck it, out, like, dude. Like, Did you break your shoe? I was like, "No, shut up." And then <laughs> Wiki and Darren, who was way in the front floor, in front of the line. Hey, look Wiki, at this Darren. idiot! Hey, Wiki, Darren, get up here! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That was like, uh, you could say one of the embarrassing moments that happened. Just funny. Not embarrassing, just funny. No, it, wasn't, it was just really, really funny. Uh, but... We had a few more drinks at that pub. We talked a lot more, got, got to know each other a little more. Me, it was just uh, it was, we have talked about this already, but uh, me and uh, Darren had kind of left because Darren was like, "I'm kind of go home. You can stay if you want." But I was like, "I'm in a I'm in a foreign country. I don't know where bus stops are. I don't know where shit oh, is." Oh yeah, it was weird how he told you that. I was like, "I don't know where bus stops are. I don't know where anything is. I just have to. I, I, you're my chauffeur. You go. I have to go." But um, no, but like my my favorite part is just Wiki happened to have the same clothes as the staff. Yeah. <laughs> Like that's funny. <laughs> fucking odds of that shit happening. <laughs> when did we go? When did we meet for a game session? It was that not was on the same very, day. No, it was the very next morning. Mm, I see. Very next morning. Okay. And we, and we I, went I, to KFC. What? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. What happened? What happened to K- was it Rod? Like we were like all like, what the fuck? Because I think Rod had ordered coleslaw or something. In yeah. KFC. <laughs> what, else, what the fuck are you doing? Like, everyone else is like, you know, you go to KFC, you get a thing of fucking baked beans. Oh, Rod's right. here. <laughs> and Rod's here. I got Costa. I'm like, why? You gotta look, <laughs> look out for my figure, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, why? Did he eat that Costa, by the way, ladies and gentlemen? <gasps> Half of it. Bro, I <laughs> eat, what the fuck? I ate everything. I love Dude. Costa. The KFC I- one, not the one I made. I guarantee you, you didn't. I remember you throwing it away. No, bro. Right? I I never throw food away. Trust me. I never throw food away. I ate everything. But um, uh, we're 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 coming up to an hour talking to Wiki. So I wait, don't have to, like... wait, wait, wait. What happened to Darren? Because you told me, and I never knew this. What did you say to Darren at that KFC? Did you know oh, uh, I said Darren? that about my name? Oh no no! So this yeah. So uh, I, I I didn't say this in the fucking Bristol one I meant to. Uh, so before we met uh, before we met up with uh, you, Wiki and Toby, uh, me, Darren oh. and Tom were sat inside the shopping mall where we Darren had parked up, mm. and um, we were sat down. And I can't remember why the conversation started. What brought it up? I said, you know, his name isn't Rod, right? Like it's not his first name. And Darren turns to me, shut up, you <laughs> moron. Of course his name is Rod. I went, no, look here. I just, I, I donated him. Here's his name. And Darren's oh, like, you sh- okay. Darren's there like, what? <laughs> My life is a lie. <laughs> he lied to me. <laughs> up is down and down is up. <laughs> <laughs> like, that was so funny when I heard it because I never knew that. Like, he never yeah. told me. He never asked me. It's like, hey, I'm, uh, I heard. Please tell me it's not true, Rob. <laughs> that like, was so Shut funny. Up. That was so funny. I was like, yeah. so I'm like, no, here's the, here, here's the proof. So Tom had already kind of known. I, Tom, I don't know if Tom had done it to or whatever. But he was kind of, you know, he was like, ah, no, his name's not Rod. But then remember. fucking, I was like, 
Darren can't pronounce my last name. By the way, my last name is McMahon. He can't. Well, I don't know if it's a joke, but he can't say it. You know, when he's when he's talking to me or like full name is, hey, Martin McMartin. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, here, pronounce Rod's name. Yeah. On on the on. This guy's eleven, and he um yeah yeah what. <laughs> He's doing like a rain dance. <laughs> yeah, actually, accidentally summons a demon while trying to save him. <laughs> ah, shit! <laughs> just to learn a little funny story that comes to my mind. I remember I had to have Darren beside me when I was ordering my food. I talk fast. That's I don't know why I've always been like that. Okay. I remember I was trying to order my food, and your man didn't understand me. The, when the guy served me, was like, what? And Darren comes up, pushes me away, he's like... My friend here talks really, really fast and really, really stupid. So he wants the bur- the uh, Bacon King meal, I think it was, with a Coke Zero. And he goes, ah, oh, okay. Write it down. And Darren turns to me, you're welcome, you fucking <laughs> dumb shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, thanks. Jesus. <laughs> but yeah. I'm going to end it off here because we've gone to an hour. And I think people are going to be like, this podcast is way, way too long. Okay. <laughs> But um, we can hear the first guest on Rod's podcast. How long will it last? We don't know. <laughs> the podcast Good. or my friendship with Wiki? <laughs> Both. <laughs> I hope once, forever. Once once the kid comes along, it's like, yeah, I've got a new toy, Rod. Uh, I mean, uh, I'll start try, bro. Like, like I've never had a best friend like Wiki before. Obviously, like, kid yeah. or not, you know, I mean... You gotta always make time for your friends. You know what I mean? Do you know how we should end this off? What's up? I think you both I think you both should sing this Shrek song. No, we don't have to, bro. I, I, I think you I have stuff to do. We can burst into it. that's what I like about you. Burst into song. But it was bro, I let's I never uh I can say this for a fact. Like I'm very lucky to find Wiki. Hundred percent. I literally would wouldn't know. I like I wouldn't know where I am right now. If I met, had a Mac Wiki, I might 100% not been streaming. I would be literally, I don't know. I, I like, I can't even think about it. Because um, I was so lonely. Um, no, it's it's true. It's just not even joking right now. It's just, it was a rough time. I was just, like, I, I said this before about, like, just going to school with, like, my school friends that went the you know, the, the, alarm rings it's over like you say oh i see you tomorrow and it just that's just like this whole rest of the day that you don't talk to anyone do anything <clears throat> and gaming kind of got stale for me a little bit not like doing it with anyone yeah it was a rough it was rough so i just same it was the same for me you know i um i when we ended up playing together all the time i'd recently split up with um my girlfriend at the time and i'd moved into just the room um, and I was off work. Um, I was signed off ill, um, and sort of, you know, playing with Rod because he was around all the time. Like, really helped, you know, my my mental state. And yeah, yeah. I I don't know where I'd be without him. To be fair, so <laughs> yeah, it's it's just luck, bro. I'm like bless my stars, bro. I feel like I should put some, like, for the whole, like, last two minutes, I should put some, like, romantic music over it. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, you (laughs) can't. But, Wiki, thank you for being a guest, the first guest on the broadcast. Yeah. You're welcome. It was nice to be here. Thank you very much. If we can get this thing to go past the four-week trial, we'll definitely have to have you on again. Yeah, Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah, that'd be cool. I'm sure. I hope there's a lot more fucking embarrassing wild stories because I need to know them to use them against him. Uh, I'm pretty <laughs> sure. Well, like, there was still one he didn't mention, which I thought you were gonna mention immediately. Yeah, but, oh, really? that's, but that's, that's that's the joy of waiting for the next time. <laughs> <laughs> Content. I mean, what, 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 I could say it's not. It, said, right? oh, okay, oh, fine. What was it? Uh, the what, only thing I'm gonna say, Wiki, you should like get it subway. Oh god, yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's what I thought you were gonna say, but whatever. Oh, like next man. one. Yeah, next time. <laughs> uh, guys, you... please, I'll put all of Wiki social in the description. Please go follow him. And uh, you for you CD done? Keys users, he's got a link. Also, will be in the description. It would help him out if you for know. For you CD Key users. Yeah, <laughs> basically everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Give it to Darren, he's the most. But thank you guys for watching. Uh, episode two done. Yes, thank sir. God. 
And as we're recording this, the fun, the fun, funny thing is, episode one goes up to this day. Yeah, that's that, they won't know. Obviously, <laughs> that's like what is this going to be on? <laughs> Hopefully Monday. Uh, so if, yeah, crazy. If, if it hasn't got up on the Monday, please don't shoot me. Yeah, and I'm not at fault. So, but thank you, Wiki, for joining us. Thank yeah, you, Rob, thank you. for always Welcome, coming thanks for having me. Yeah, this is and my podcast. Up here, so thanks for listening, guys, and goodbye. All right, have a good one. Thank you for watching.